Hey everyone, how y'all doing? Welcome back to the channel. And let me just say thanks to all the subscribers. We just went over 500 subscribers and a channel. I couldn't be more excited. I appreciate it. You know, thanks to everyone that that subscribes and comments and all that stuff. But yeah, I thought I'd show you this knife roll. Um, I picked this up earlier this summer. And it's a Smoky Mountain Knife Works knife roll. And disclaimer, I didn't buy this from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. I, I found this at a flea market that we go to a couple times a year. And I asked the guy, he said, five bucks. I'm like, cool. I said, I got to go talk to the wife, get some money. So I walked away. I looked it up on Smoky Mountain Knife Works. These things are only $9.99, brand new. Plus, you, you know, you'll have shipping and possibly tax. But good price for for a knife roll like this. So, yeah, I got it for 5 bucks. I got a pretty good deal on it. And I don't store my knives in this, but I'll, I'll put knives in it. If I want to take knives with me, you know, to show people or whatnot. And, um, yeah, works pretty good. So, looking at the outside, obviously you got their embroidered logo, smkw.com. That's done real nice, looks good, the white against the black. The material, I don't know exactly what the material, material is, but, it's, you know, the normal stuff, bags and pouches and stuff are made out of seems very durable um he, the stitching on this thing looks really good nothing's pulling loose got a nice carry handle on this thing nice nice grip on it kind of rubberized grip which that's that's pretty nice you know that's a good nice extra feature you have these buckle straps that snap and secure it close. And they seem pretty pretty reliable. Um, they snap in there really good. Kind of normal everyday plastic buckle snaps. You also have two grommets on the top flap. So you could actually, if you want, you could hang it on hooks. Or possibly, I don't know, tie paracord, make a shoulder strap, maybe. I don't know. On the back, it's just plain um, black. The whole thing like this is um, 13, 13 inches wide. You see, it's a little over the 12 inch ruler. Um, about six, six inches or six and a quarter inches tall in thickness, you know, probably depends on how many knives and how thick your knives are. Right now it's, it's less than two inches thick. So let's open it up. I just put a bunch of knives in here for show and tell and, um. Well, you guys, three rows of four pouches, and they're clear plastic fronts. Um, they got material on top, stitched in, the stitching between them. Looks, they all look good. Nothing's, nothing's um, coming apart. I've used this, you know few times to take knives someplace with me um the pouches are three by five inches five inches deep three inches wide and as you can see i got a bunch of different different knives in them so you can carry a fairly large knife and you can carry you know actually a couple smaller knives in a pouch but yeah i mean Easily holds a full-size Benchmade Griptilian. A Manix 2 Lightweight. You know, which is kind of 
kind of wide knife it's not real thick but that fits in there just fine you can carry like the Civivi backlash that fits in there good I don't have anything that doesn't fit um, rake rake um, P801 SF this is a nice knife it doesn't make I don't think I've done a review video on this I should $30 knife it's excellent um, get sidetracked here it is 14 14 C 28 end steel just an awesome knife that clip there that went no problem now I got the CRKT minimalist cleaver neck knife in it that fits good I even got the the belt loop on there I got it set up for a scout carry and that's how I I carry I take the paracord off and I carry it on my belt I don't if you got a belt if you got a little belly on you and you try and carry a neck knife it doesn't work that good um, I have the I have big rod the Rough Rider folding locking work knife this is not a small knife it's pretty long but that fits in there and obviously that doesn't have pocket clips so you can still even it'll slide out a little bit but you can still fold it now when you unfold it it might slide out a little more let's move over now I got two two knives in here in this pocket so I have this is a 12 pocket roll I got 15 knives in it so depends on the size of your knives how you want to put them in but the CJRB Mylea it's a pretty small knife and the Ferrum Ford or the Civivi Ferrum Ford's Odium so these two fit those two little knives fit right in there now this one this pocket clip's pretty strong I had a heck of a time getting that in there now in this pocket I got three knives I got I have the Tucson TS169 that fits in there this is the one I won from Neves knives it's got their anodate you know anode done to it titanium that fits in there and that clips a hard one to get on there but have the CRKT um, CEO these are really thin knives so that's why three of them will fit and the Civivi X-Arc so yeah in that pocket I, I can get all three of these in there no problem um, now this is a pretty pretty cool little pouch little roll you know it's a knife roll but you definitely do not have to carry knives in it. Here's the Honey Badger Warren Cleaver D2 medium one. I mean, you can fit, you can put multi tools in here. This is a Gerber MP600. Um, I got this at a rum and sale this summer for five bucks. The one screwdriver has a chip out of it, but other than that, perfect tool. Here's a Leatherman Rev. Has a pocket clip that I'll clip in there. Oh, what else? You can put, you can definitely put. This is the Firepoint X flashlight. I did a video on this. It's actually pretty cool. It's adjustable from a flood flood bleep beam to spot spotlight 
kind of kind of larger flashlight you know that that fits in there you can put probably at least three Olay IFITs in one pocket. Yeah, I'll put that back in there. I have a Wild Tech, um, Wild Tech W1 flashlight. That'll clip in there. So, you know, it works for for all kinds of things. Pry tools. You, know, you can put that in there you can put you can almost put that little clip over that you can put the this is the Gondek EDC Reaper that fits in there yeah you can use this for all kinds of stuff um I may actually pick up one and keep like smaller items like little pry tools and small flashlights in it but yeah um like i said i paid five bucks for this brand new they're 9.99 you can't beat it um i like it like i said i don't store my knives in it but you could i just i use it if i'm going someplace and you know I'm going to see someone that wants to see knives and I want to show them off. I'll put a bunch of knives in and take them with me. But yeah, this, this is pretty cool. I think I'm going to make Christmas time. I'll ask for a new, another one for Christmas, you know. Ten bucks with shipping. I don't know what their shipping is. Say four bucks that's 14 tax you know it, it's definitely an under a 20 dollar christmas present one of the kids can get me for sure or yeah i'll just buy one myself but yeah i just thought i'd show it to you i've had it for a while haven't shown it it's definitely an option um overall i like it i like it a lot so i guess that's it for this video, as usual, you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Um, how do you how you store your knives? Do you store them in knife rolls, and what kind do you have? I mean, almost every dealer, you know, Blade HQ has one, Spyderco has one. So I'm pretty certain they're all pretty much the same. But if you got one. Let me know what one you got in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you have it. And I guess until the next video, bye. <music>